Our cosmic companion, the Moon, has long been intertwined with life on Earth. But how did our luminescent neighbor come to be? What if we once lived in a moonless world? Would life even survive without the Moon tilting and twirling our planet? Just so. Let's uncover the mysterious origins of the Moon and what a world without it might look like. Before we dive deeper, subscribe and hit the bell to join us in exploring hypothetical realms through mini-documentary adventures in the future. It all started with a violent cosmic smash-up, back when Earth was just a ball of molten rock with no continents, oceans or life. A dramatic event occurred. About 4.5 billion years ago, a young Mars-sized planet nicknamed Thea came crashing into the proto-Earth. Thea was no more vaporized on impact, but the debris from this colossal collision was tossed into orbit around Earth, eventually coalescing into our cosmically convenient moon. This big splash, as it's called, was catastrophic but creative, giving birth to the crucial satellite that may have made life on Earth possible. For billions of years, the moon's gravitational influence has gently tilted Earth's spin axis, stabilizing our wobble. This allowed Earth's climate to remain relatively mild, giving life a chance to gain a foothold and evolve. But now let's see what Caitlin Ahrens believes on the question, where did our moon come from? Well, actually, there have been several theories over many decades. Earlier versions of lunar formation theories included capture, where the moon would have been a strayed planetoid. Another version was fission, where the Earth was spinning so fast that it would have warped out of the Earth and then formed its own body. This led to our current theory, the giant impactor theory. So this collision was during the late stages of planetary formation throughout our entire solar system, when planets were still very new and very much forming. So this happened when Earth was just an embryo, a baby planet. And this was actually in a crash course collision with Theia, which is a Mars-sized planetoid. And this collision ripped apart early Earth's crust. And that crust then coalesced, it snowballed into a whole separate entity, which we now call the Moon. So where did our Moon come from? Well, currently our understanding is that the Earth had collided with a Mars-sized object named Theia. But once we send future astronauts to the lunar surface again, who knows, we may actually have a whole new theory in the coming decades. Now that you heard her, let's imagine if Theia never smashed into proto-Earth. What if we lived in a moonless world? Well, some scientists have simulated just that using advanced orbital mechanics models. And while a moonless Earth could technically support life thanks to Jupiter, grabbing our spin axis with its gravitational grip, things might get a little extreme. Without our moon's steadying presence, Earth would wobble and jostle like a lopsided top with wild oscillations in climate. Imagine year-round hurricane seasons, flash floods giving way to blistering heat waves, giving way to sudden ice ages, all within a single decade. Our poles would slide across the continents as our spin axis slowly circled from vertical to horizontal and back every few million years. This phenomenon, when the poles slowly circle around Earth's surface over millions of years, is called true polar wonder. Trying to locate Santa's workshop would be tricky with the North Pole constantly shifting locations. Not only would the moonless Earth be prone to climate chaos, but days would only be eight hours long, spinning far faster without the moon's breaking gravity. The increased rotation speed would make adaptive life forms evolve to be short and stocky to withstand greater Coriolis forces. These are apparent forces caused by Earth's faster spin, which I could illustrate as you see on your screen. And accurately tracking time's passage with a calendar year would be nearly impossible. Was it not for the moon's creation in Earth's formative years? Would intelligent life still walk the Earth? Perhaps not. That violent collision 4.5 billion years ago spawned our favorite satellite, helping sculpt Earth into the haven for life we know. So thank Thea for crashing into proto-Earth so long ago. Without our trusty moon-keeping watch and steadying Earth's spin, we might still be primordial ooze. In addition to climate mayhem, losing our cosmic companion would also mean losing the moon's immense gravitational pull on Earth's oceans. This would greatly reduce the rise and fall of tides around the world. Currently, 
the moon's gravity creates predictable, twice-daily ocean bulges on opposite sides of Earth, which we experience as high and low tides. But without the moon, Earth would only experience small solar tides generated by the more distant sun's gravity. Tides would shrink to just one-third of their current average size. Coastal ecosystems would drastically transform worldwide without the regular rhythm of floods and ebbs from lunar tidal cycles. Tides help shape shorelines, provide nutrients, influence migration patterns, impact human navigation and commerce, and more. It's possible life still could have emerged from primeval waters without those lunar tides, but likely not with the robust diversity we see today. If you want to learn about humans colonizing other planets, check out another video on our channel. As for the debate on whether planets need stabilizing satellites, some models show they can steady their spins alone over time, but more research is needed. In 2011, a new twist emerged on the moonless Earth debate, courtesy of NASA scientists. Using advanced simulations, they found that even minus a sizable moon, Earth could potentially stabilize itself thanks to Jupiter's commanding gravity. As it turns out, Jupiter has enough mass and closeness to tug at Earth's spinning bulge subtly. And over millions of years, those heavy pulls could theoretically steady out wobbles and modulate the extremes of a moonless Earth's cycle of ice ages. Of course, the moon still plays an invaluable role in reflecting sunlight down to Earth at night, providing natural illumination. Can you imagine pitch black nights every 24 hours? We'd practically be blind. Nocturnal creatures like wolves would rule the darkened landscape. Farmers couldn't rely on the harvest moon to light late summer harvesting. Modern illuminated cities would seem that much brighter, obscuring views of dazzling night skies swirling with stars. Women could also be impacted biologically by longer lunar cycles, with menstruation and ovulation patterns shifting in rhythm with the moon's phases. Though humanity would surely adapt to moonless darkness in clever ways, wouldn't you miss being serenaded to sleep by the moon's soothing glow? And just what would nights on Earth reveal if not for that cosmic light pollution known as the moon? Well, we'd feast our eyes on a vast river of stars arching from horizon to horizon, the majestic band of our very own galaxy, the Milky Way, and drifting subtly through the seasonal night sky dance twice as many shooting stars in moonless darkness. We'd spy the planets in all their glory, no longer outshined by lunar luminosity. The blood-red glare of Mars would halt us in our tracks. The glowing golden rings of Saturn would gleam brighter than the most precious of jewels. Oh, what we wouldn't give to jettison all our earthly possessions and book passage to those far-flung worlds, and the hot white spark of Venus would guide travelers on moonless nights like a torch through the darkness. Such fanciful cosmic tourism may not have transpired without the moon nudging humanity's imagination skyward over centuries. So, before you howl at it again in darkness, thank our glowing guardian, the moon, for making life on Earth and dreams of what lies beyond possible. In 1609, when Galileo turned his telescope skyward, discovering cratered lunar mountains fundamentally opened our minds to the universe's true expansiveness. His moon observations helped overturn the antiquated Earth-centric celestial model. Catching glimpses of our pockmarked neighbor through telescopes has long fueled sci-fi visions of human space travel. Two centuries after Galileo, his moon-gazing legacy sparked reality when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the lunar surface in 1969 on Apollo 11. Humanity watched in awe as those first steps touched down, inspiring starry-eyed youngsters worldwide to pursue interstellar dreams. Our national space programs, energized by the Moon Musi, catalyzed progress at warp speed. Now companies sell tourist trips to the Moon as we continue reaching for the stars, without it reflecting our ambitions back to Earth. Would we have ventured so far scientifically and technologically? Our loyal lunar companion awakened curiosity about what lies above and beyond. So gaze up at that magnificent pockmarked orb and let it transport your imagination on an eternal cosmic journey through beauty without end.